YouTube, it's your girl Jada Renee, and I am back with yet another video. Today we have another natural hair video. I have a slick back tutorial. Now this tutorial is going to be all over the place because I hate dealing with my natural hair, which is why I do not wear it. Um, my hair is kind of like at an awkward length and it's all, it's different lengths all over. The front is shorter than the back, so the front is kind of harder to maneuver. Which is why I do prefer working with my hair in its blow dry state and not its curly state because it's just so extra. Like, it don't be wanting to move how I want to move. It don't be doing what I want it to do. But I did manage to get me a little slick back. I don't like how crunchy it is at the top, but again, it's because my hair is just, my roots are super duper just curly. Like, my roots are 4B, um, like 4B, 4C maybe. I don't know, my roots are super duper just coarse that's probably the coarsest part of my hair in the back so i did have kind of a time doing this um but this is like my go-to style when i don't have a wig on i do prefer to do this blow dried and not curly but i did want to do kind of in my natural state just because i didn't feel like blow drying my hair and i got stuff to do today um but yeah this is how it came out mm, super cute super easy super simple um am i missing anything what i used was got to be eco style eco styler in the coconut oil one and a little bit of this edge booster 24 well not 24 style factor edge booster my hair is blow dried my bun is way more fuller and thicker and just looks overall more you know bigger you know what i'm saying i don't like the tiny tiny bun it's still cute but i like my bun to be kind of bigger in the back um and number two blow dry hair is just overall easier to work with if my hair is like this as y'all see it's gonna be a lot to deal with um i did have heat damage on my sides y'all my sides did not curl back up i already knew that though <laughs> I already knew that though because I have washed my hair since I did that braid. Just a word of advice, if y'all do that braid, do not blow dry this piece every day. Put some rollers in your hair. That's what my friend did when she did the style too. She put rollers on the ends. I blow dried it. I mean, I flat ironed it every single day. Like I was doing my curls every day. And that's why, like, heat damage is real, y'all. I was thinking, because my hair, usually my hair reverts back, like, easily. It don't be no thing. But this didn't revert back this time. So, yeah, definitely go light on the flat iron. Put some cool rollers in the back and the front, a uh, little curly swoops. Because if you don't, baby, <laughs> if you don't, your hair is going to be at a risk for heat damage and i definitely improve for that y'all this is i'm trying to get into the natural hair world y'all say i don't never i want to see the natural hair blah blah, blah. y'all always act like i don't know what the big thing about natural hair is but people just beg me to do to see my natural hair and i just be like what is the big deal i don't get it but i was like let me just start doing natural hair videos because i do need to switch up my content i've been doing wigs makeup clothes back and forth and i never did a natural hair video till like a week ago so yeah i just decided to film this because like i said in my last video my schedule has been knocked off a little bit so i'm trying to get back on schedule therefore i have to do pre-recorded videos in order to get back on the schedule that i'm on i'm not really worried about that though because i do have a surplus of videos i have 30 plus video ideas for vlogmas so it wasn't really a thing but the only thing about the videos were they were whole day activities therefore i can't I don't know how to describe it. I can't wake up and say, well, I'm going to do this because I just can't do a video in a day and edit it and have it out before 10 o'clock. So, and I don't post videos after 10. I just can't do it. I don't like it. Um, so yeah, that's why my schedule is kind of kicked off because my videos have to last a whole day and I can't do a whole day video or I'm going to miss a day. You know, I'm not trying to miss a day. So that's why I just decided to film this for y'all. I thought it was a nice little treat. And yeah, your girl's going to go shoot the next video for the next day and it's gonna be a fun video so yeah guys if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button also turn on your bell post notifications so you can be notified every time your girl posts a video because if you're looking but you're not subscribing what are you doing <laughs> you peeping your girl but you're not subscribed so what are you doing <laughs> I, I like that little saying i like that little saying but anyways yeah uh let's get into the video 
Okay, so first you want to start with freshly washed hair. I just have a little bit of leave-in conditioner, y'all. Look at my curls. But first thing I do is go ahead and go in with my part. And I'm combing through my hair, y'all, because I did decide to do this curly instead of blow-dry, which is kind of a task. But I just tied the back of my hair up. And right here, y'all see me trying to get that piece to curl up, but it actually is damaged. So for the front, you're just going to block off a piece and part off a piece that will be your swoop. And it's basically just the middle, the front middle. And I just rolled that up into a bun. So here, I'm just basically just about to start laying my hair down. On this part, I was using the Eco Styler Gel, um, the Coconut Oil One. And I'm just trying to basically just define my part and get everything laid. That's basically your main goal to start off with. We'll get to the swoop later. But this is just to get the base pretty much, you know, laid. And so y'all just see me brushing it and getting that together. And yeah most part this is pretty easy to lay down um and yeah i'm just going with the gel and just laying my hair down it doesn't really take much uh when you wrap your hair this probably pretty much is gonna make it stay in a place and y'all my face is when i'm doing my hair child i look <laughs> disgusting but yeah so i go ahead and put that part in a ponytail in a nice tight ponytail so now i'm just starting on my edges and seeing how i want to do my edges and it hurts me so bad that i got heat damage right there but there's honestly nothing i can do i knew what i was doing when i kept flat iron that piece knowing that i should have did something else so i'm just swooping my edges swooping 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 and getting them you know cute and you know i like my edges to look really good with a slick back because it's a style that you know kind of has your hair to the back and it just looks really just simple and it really brings out the features in your face so I like my edges to be kind of cute, and that's just what y'all see me doing, swooping my edges. Uh, it's not really much to explain, but you can see what I'm doing. Uh, my hair is very easy to maneuver while wet, but I do wish that I would have blow dry my hair. But yeah, just get my sideburns together, and the edges are slate. So now for this piece, you're just going to comb it out, and I'm just trying to see how I want to lay this across my face. Uh, it's not the longest, so it's kind of hard to maneuver it, but I've seen people with shorter hair than me get slip backs and that's how i know <laughs> that's how i know when i first started doing it i was like i know i can do a slick back so this is me just slicking that piece down and you want to part that big section into three sections and now i'm going to with my got to be because i did need something a little stronger than eco styler eco styler works good on my hair but sometimes it just curls my hair up and wave up so i did go on with some got to be gel and that's just what y'all see me using and basically what you're going to do is just brush it to the back. I don't really know how to explain it, but you're just brushing it over to the side and then swooping it to connect it with the ponytail in the back. So that's just what I'm doing, making sure it's smooth, making sure it's flat, even though it's still kind of curly. It's still going to curl up, especially if you have hair like mine. That's just what it's going to do. For this final part, it's going to be kind of hard because this is the part that makes or break the swoop. And mine wasn't perfect, but it looked decent enough. So here I'm going with edge control just a little bit because edge control actually makes my hair kind of straight and not so curly. So I'm going with that at the root, even though it barely worked. But yeah, that's what y'all just see me doing, trying to get that smooth and get it right. And so I'm trying to swoop it all the way across my face, but it's just not going to do that. So as long it don't have to come all the way across your forehead but as long as it's just neat really like if your hair isn't super duper long or your swoop in that area isn't too thick as long as it's neat it does not have to come all the way across your face so i'm just trying to make the line straight and trying to make it look decent and that's just what y'all see me doing like i hope y'all visual learners because it's kind of hard to explain but yeah and so i seen that i had a little hump in the back a little bit when i was about to put it in the ponytail and y'all i keep going over that part because it just is not doing what i wanted to do but um yeah y'all see that hump in the back that i'm gonna notice in a minute it just will not lay flat so i had to actually part that piece off and just connect it to the back instead of going towards the front so that's what y'all see me doing right here and that was relatively easy to to lay down but yeah that's what just what y'all see and I'm just trying to make it straight. This was the best that I could do. And y'all just see that I'm just perfecting it a little bit. But now I'm about to tie it up and let it chill for a little bit. And that's just going to lock the style into place. And also let it dry because my hair was soaking wet when I did my hair. 
but um yeah guys that's it <laughs> and i let it sit for like an hour until i was finished and then i took the scarf off and my hair was better and you know kind of dry a little bit and so now i'm just gonna do my bun and i just wanted a simple little bun and i went in with a scrunchie that matched my outfit and it just came out super duper cute nice little easy style to do all right you guys this is the finish look i think it's so cute even though i kind of feel like i got a football head sometimes especially from the side angle look at it <laughs> i feel like my head looks weird from the side this side is better but yeah, y'all, this is how it came out. Super cute, super effortless, super. Mm. <laughs> Giving the girls looks. But um, let me show y'all the bag. How y'all feel? Do y'all think it's cute? It took me about 30 minutes, but that's because I had to wash my hair and do all that. And another thing, I do need to buy some natural hair products. I have one natural hair product like to my name, and it's this right here. It's hydrating cream and natural curl cream. Once I start getting into the natural hair community and start doing more videos, definitely 2021, I'm gonna be doing more videos, but I do need to buy more products because I only have that one product and it's about gone. And so, and I know what products to get. I know what products work for my hair because I did, you know, used to take care of my hair <laughs> better but i stopped but um yeah i do need to buy some products i think my curls will look way better 10 times better uh my hair will overall just be more natural hydrated <laughs> hydrated but yeah that's the look and yeah i hope you guys enjoy yet another hair tutorial hopefully we have more to come comment down below any styles or anything that y'all want me to try on my hair whether it be blow dried or in my natural state i don't want to do any right super duper heat styles as far as flat ironing into like a couple more months so yeah just keep the natural styles tell me what y'all want to see me try and yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next day of vlogmas